So yesterday we read our book, An Elephant Grows Up. And we talked about what we knew about elephants from our learning and our new text feature, a text box, okay? And remember in our text box, it gave us more information. And so we also made a list of everything we learned from our book and what we know about elephants. So here's our list from yesterday. It says what we know about elephants, okay? Elephant calves are bigger than a kitchen table. The cows and calves stay together in one herd. An elephant calf weighs more than a refrigerator. Cows and bulls live apart, and the new mother looks after her new calf. That was a lot of learning yesterday, okay? So today, we are gonna look at a new special text feature to add to what we know and what we've learned about elephants, okay? So I'm gonna turn to our page, and remember yesterday I told you we were gonna do this and look at this special picture, okay? On this page, we see an elephant diagram. Okay, and a diagram is one of our text features. What is something you already know about diagrams? What do you know about diagrams? Oliver? Um, they have labels and, they, and the labels point to the spot where the labels actually need. Nazir, what do you know? That you can learn from them. William, what do you know? I kind of have a connection with this book and the book I have. I like had this mind had book and it has the same thing like with the numbers. I like your noticings in other books and on this diagram that we see. So sometimes diagrams just have a word. Sometimes they have a sentence of information and sometimes they have numbers or letters. Okay. In our diagram, it has numbers that point to different parts of the bodies on the elephant and the numbers connect to information on the bottom. So today, our job is to look and listen to the elephant diagram as I read the information because you're going to tell me what you've learned, what new information we know about elephants from the diagram, okay? So I'm going to start with number one, and number one points to the elephant's ears. It says ears. Elephants have their own air conditioning. As elephants flap their ears, the blood flow cools their body down. Number two, it's pointing to their feet. Although an elephant can weigh between 8,000 and 12,000 pounds, they can walk in complete silence. They rarely leave footprints. Rarely means it doesn't really happen, so they almost never leave footprints. Number three, it's pointing to the elephant's skin. An elephant's skin is very sensitive. In fact, an elephant can feel a small fly landing on its skin. Okay, number four is pointing to the trunk. The trunk of an elephant is the longest nose of any living animal. All right, number five is pointing to their tusks. Tusks are no different than ordinary teeth. We just heard a lot of information that I don't think I knew before about an elephant. What did you learn about the elephant from our elephant diagram? What new information did you learn? Turn and talk to your partner. What did you hear? When they pop their ears, their blood flows and it makes their body cool. You're right. What did you learn? Are they hard to put on the ground? All right. My quiet hand is up. Show me this signal. Three, two, one. All time. Today, our job is going to be to take what we learned and write one thing we learned about elephants in our response journals from the diagram. You have your response journal and you're gonna open up to page 22. And the response journal did something really great for you. It has the diagram so that you can use it to remember 
the information we learned. It has all the words on it that I read to you. So on one page is the diagram, and on the other page it says, write one thing you learned from the elephant diagram on page 22. Please stand and walk to your table spots. All right, my friends, we have about two more minutes of writing and then we're gonna bring our books to the carpet to share. This is a good time for you to finish up that last idea before we share with our partners. All right, thank you so much for using those nice walking feet and coming back to our carpet. I want to know, what did you write? in your response journals about what you learn from our elephant diagram. Look at these amazing quiet hands. As you share, I'm gonna work hard to write your ideas on our chart, okay? I can tell that lots of friends wrote lots of things they learned. So when you share, I want you to pick the one thing, okay? And if a friend shared your idea, remember we can use that quiet clam clap to show that you had that idea too, okay? Remember, we can be patient. I'll try to pick as many friends as I can. Oliver, what is something you learned from our elephant diagram? The trunk of an elephant is the longest nose ever. I saw some clam cups. Nice job, friends. The trunk of an elephant is the longest nose. Sophia? They have wrinkled skin. <laughs> Thanks for reading that writing and finding an idea for us. They have Alice last idea. I learned that the trunk is actually the nose. I never even knew. I can tell by looking at all of your writing that you guys learned a lot from this diagram. Please close your notebooks and give your brain a nice big kiss. I loved hearing what you learned and I can tell from walking around that you guys wrote lots of details from that diagram. So a diagram is on our text feature chart and it's a really important one because we can learn about parts of something or different and new information, okay? So you might see that in your nonfiction books in your book bin during that independent reading time. Okay, put your books up in the air. Here's a little pat on your back. We're gonna move into independent reading. <laughs>